It's one of them. It's one of them, I would say. And I also think the kids you get from here can play. There's no fake, you know, going against, uh, you know, some school that he's getting scored 50. You play in this state, you're playing against other good teams. You're playing for a good coach. You don't last in this state unless you can coach. And you got other good players. So um, this is one of those gem jobs that people don't realize. And when Mark gets it going, they're going to say, whoa. Um, and, I, and I said this. I've said this. Of all the programs, I think obviously Kevin's done a great job. But Mark, it's, the issue is the record doesn't show what he's done. I mean, it just doesn't show. I mean, I, we played him the first game. I'm like, this is ridiculous. And I think he's done a good co coaching job as any, if not the best coaching job in the league. Because his kids for 40 minutes know how they're going to play. And they play that way. And they grind it. And they get the ball where they're supposed to. They all do their job. You know how hard that is? I mean, I'm finding out how hard it is to get guys to accept what they have to do and how they have to play. Tompkins, Leslie, they're as good as any. Price today was ridiculous. Is that his best game? Uh, it's up there. See, uh, he was really good today. Coach Gallagher, at this point in the season, uh, is this Kentucky team as talented as your Memphis team two seasons ago? Um, we're, you know, we're talented like that team, but that team was a veteran team. We didn't have, there was no, that we never argued on the bench. We never had facials, you know, we never had, there was never an attitude. Well, we went back and forth now, but those guys were veterans and they knew what they wanted and nothing was going to stand in the way. No one's attitude, no one's, nothing would stand in their way. They were winning it. We're not there yet with this thing. I mean, you, you've got to have guys that say, I'm swallowing anything because we're winning. Waller, Caliber, Waller, uh Rose at this point in the season. They're both terrific. Tyreek Evans, who's going to be the rookie of the year this year. I mean, they're, I've coached some good players. John, you talked about losing players. If you lose a lot, Georgia keeps theirs. They're going to be picked ahead of you. How many guys are going to be saying goodbye to Rupp on uh, Sunday? Besides well, we got the, the seniors. seniors the besides seniors. the seniors. We, we don't know. I mean, we don't know. I mean, with this lockout looming, maybe they all come back. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but I, I think, you know, uh, and again, you know, each situation is different, but I'll sit down and be honest with every one of them and tell them what I think. Um, in most cases, you know what I'm going to say because I've done it my whole career. Um, and then we'll go back and we better sign four or five more guys. We sign four or five more guys. Hopefully they're as good as the group we just brought in. And we, and then after that group leaves, we try to bring in four or five more. It's just a different day and age. You don't have guys for three and four years anymore. You mentioned yesterday talking a little bit about the fact that you're a freshman, you're, you're inexperienced, you're unsure about how they would respond playing for something. They were playing for a share of the SEC crown today. How do you, how do you feel they responded? You know what? We never talked about it until this morning's shoot -off. We've never talked SEC in any way. We're talking seed in the NCAA tournament. But today, before we went to shoot, I saw a couple guys walking out like, and I said, stop, I blew them. Do you understand what we're playing for today in an SEC championship? Do you understand? I said, I've, I've done this at three different programs numerous times. NBA, Nets, we had to play the Wizards and win that game. And now let me tell you what the shoot around was like. It was sharp, it was alert. Guys were bouncing because, and they focused because we had to win a game. And so, you know what, we had a really good shoot around today after I said that. But as we walked off, I was a little worried. But that's the only time that I have mentioned SEC Championship. Did you mention that you, you asked John Wall to do everything else? What do you think about the way he played? Oh, he's terrific. He's just running our team better. He's more comfortable. He's running our team better. He's not getting as frustrated. He's defending. He's talking. He, I want him to do more of the stuff that I'm having to do. If a guy doesn't do his job, you go tell him. The guy breaks down and doesn't do what he's supposed to or stops playing, you go tell him. So I don't have to be the guy. Um, you know, it, but I'm asking a 19-year-old freshman. It's just not fair. You know, because sometimes he's going to be talking to a senior. How do you think DeMarcus, he didn't have a great first half. Played great in the second half. Great. Did great. Is that the growth that you wanted to see out of him? No, the first half, he, no. I mean, he, he got beat on every ball and didn't rebound and, and then got two fouls and had to come out. But other than that, Second half, he played like the beast he is. I mean, you saw him in transition. I mean, told him, you go get every ball and score in the post and do what you're doing, block shots. I'll let you do one, one or two of those a game. I don't care. <laughs> so we'll be up 15, 18. It won't matter. Two more questions. These guys actually down where Darnell's stroke came from. Well, what we've done, 